And welcome back to the Factor on Censored. If you have had someone die from COVID-19, this is a story you absolutely need to hear. Now, although COVID stats are trending down, there is still something that is sky high. That's all the money that's available from the federal government to help pay for COVID related funerals. No one is going after it. My next guest talks about the millions of dollars on the table that can still be claimed to this date. It's amazing. Um, of the 870,000 deaths that we've had in the U.S. due to COVID, less than half of American families have applied for reimbursement for funeral expenses. I don't think many people know that since April of 2020, a, a very generous federal program through FEMA has been available to every family who suffered a loss from COVID, up to $9,000 of funeral expense reimbursement, and that's not means tested. There's no income limit. It's available to everyone, but fewer than half of all Americans have applied for it. And why is that? Is it because, because I didn't know about it, and I figure if I don't know about it, maybe the average person doesn't know that it's out there and available to them. I think you're right. We think the number one reason is simply people don't know about it. You know, we're, where are we getting our news from today? You know, is it social media? Where, where are we getting it from? And is, is other news about COVID and of course now the Ukraine and all the other issues really crowding out something as basic as this? And as you said, the average American family is leaving money on the table here. Uh, I think secondarily, probably the peop some people who know about it fear red tape and maybe ultimately if they go through all this rigmarole, they won't qualify. But what we're seeing is not the case. This is something that really truly is available to all Americans. It's a 20 minute phone call made to FEMA. That's the only way you get this thing started. And FEMA then wants two pieces of information from you after they've had a conversation with you. And that's the death certificate and a copy of of uh, the, the funeral uh, ref, uh, invoice. And for those two pieces, a lot, up to $9,000 is available. Now, is there a clock that's ticking with the time, a, a, a limitation on time on when families can apply? Say someone died in 2020, they're just now hearing about it tonight here on The Factor. Can they go back and apply for those funds? There is no sunset provision or um, amount of funding limitation at all yet. It's completely available to any family who lost a loved one since January 20th, 2020. So we're talking two years plus, and there is no, you can, you can apply now, even if it was two years ago. Some people even had two funerals, meaning uh, in the height of COVID, they may have paid for a direct cremation and then several months later, a few months later, had more of a service at the funeral home where family attended. Both of those receipts go together and reimbursement is available. Now, have you had a chance to hear this conversation that you're required to have with FEMA? Is it terribly difficult? Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for a logical reason why more people haven't taken on this process other than not knowing about it. You know, FEMA wants the, the, uh, the American Rescue Plan, which is the law that made this possible. In the legislation, they talked about that FEMA wants to express sympathy from our government over the death to the family. So it's a, a somewhat of a consoling moment, but the other honestly, honest thing here is an, it's an audit process they want to make sure that this is the real family. So they're gonna put them through a few paces and people really should be ready when they make that call to have some information ready so they don't have to call back again, like the social security number of the deceased, the social security number of the person applying, um, family income, they want it, even though they you know, assure us that that's not being uh, anything in the judgment, but they wanna capture that information, addresses, it, and, and other information should be available at that time. But no, this is very simple information that really 
a family can go through. One kink here, though, is the death certificate that FEMA wants. Uh, the law says here that in any way attributed to COVID, and many death certificates in different states mention the primary cause of death. Mm -hmm. So it may be possible, it may be uh, that, that a family will need to go to the attending physician and, uh, and apply to have the death certificate amended. That might be a complication. All right. uh, but that's the only one that we're really aware of. But that money is still out there, and if you have a legitimate claim, you should contact FEMA. Ed Michael Reggie with Funeral Velocity, we want to thank you. For those who would like more uh, to know more about you and this process, where can they go, where can they look? Uh, you can go to funeralocity.com. We've got all the information about how to get and do your homework before you call FEMA. You can also call FEMA. Uh, you can go to fema.gov and get information there as well. Very important information for a lot of people out there.